Hello everyone, and here I'm with another LEGO Throwback Thursday review, and this, and the rotation of which leads us to a Star Wars set review, and this time it is on the Ewok Attack from 2002. So on the front of the booklet, you see the LEGO logo, 712 Star Wars logo, the border that used from 2002 until 2004, and the name of it, everything in action, and set number 7139. On the back is Final Duel 1 and 2 and Jedi Defense 1 and 2. And then there's, of course, early figure of Lobot, of course, and some of the older uh, sets That's as well, and the last steps. So now on to the figures. First of all, is Wicked the Ewok. And also to keep in mind that this is the first time of getting the Ewok pieces to it. So these are which uh, kind of creep me with, with the molded style and everything. At least until they in, in yeah, until 2009 with the Valon Endor set, which introduced the fully printed version. So kind of reminiscent of the older Chewbacca figure. Didn't think off, like which they used all the time, like others. Else. And of course, short legs like modern ones. You know. And next up is Popaloo the Ewok, which is sort of the same, same exact uh, uh, head mold piece, but. In tan, but in, in this one, this time of which he's holding a bow and arrow, obviously. You know, see, kind of creepy you know, until they did prints. And then next up is a stormtrooper with, and this design did hold on for quite a while, and this has. The like old style blaster and some back torso print, which kind of holds up to modern figures, and underneath the helmet of which, plain yellow head. And also, it's one of those older ones that doesn't have a odd thing, doesn't have a hole in the stud. But plain heads is what I think modern stormtroopers should have rather than the annoying clone face. But at least the newer helmet pieces do look a little better now. And then lastly, is one of the older style scout troopers. Oh, it's pretty much about the same as from the like 99 versions. And no back torso prints since it's an, since it's an older figure. Okay. And one side of the camera. And you can see it's what can also be used with uh, figures outside of Star Wars in like a city and everything. So kind of cool how that is. But newer ones does have the visor molded into the helmet. And, yeah. and first of all, for the builds is you get this like large catapult, here, which comprised of like the regular catapult piece, which looks to be kind of similar to most in some older castle lines. And of course, has a spinning wheels, probably just for decoration. And those leaf pieces making it more you feel to end or. It's kind of like they copied that build, a build from a castle line, and using it in Star Wars. Oh, and this also present in the like. Uh, Battle on Endor set in 2009. And get this like big large stone piece. You can like put it in and press down like so. And they do provide two with this because it's easy to reload. Then you see plenty of that sloping around. And good use of those bricks to make it feel like some more 
like it's made of trees and everything. And then next though, of all of which, is this Ewok glider. And you probably wonder how the, how it floats is it's on a couple of clear pieces giving that effect. And it's on a Technic ball join and to make it look like it's flying around. And as you can see, it's made of these like thin film material, little kind of flaps, which they used a lot and since a long time. But a lot of things nowadays are like cloth or made of fab or multiple pieces. Although the last time they did this was in a Force Awakens one in 2016. And I see made a few Technic bits with the, along with the like fishing rods and uh, old style lances that were used for Lego to help make it work. And those hanging arms of which are for your Wicked figure here to like hang on to. Well, with his arms back all the way. And for the main feature of it is where you take this little gray cylinder, but acting as a rock that fit in that in this slot here, and you can like just turn it up and drops it, even though giving the effect of it gliding you know, around the spear bike. And I guess that's about it with that. And then last for the builds is the like little speeder bikes. Is for this uh, seating area, which enough space to fit your scout trooper onto, like so. And pretty much about some of the same builds as the earlier '99 versions, but now. But now has the like uh, larger curved slopes, and also also using those like uh, space uh, rifle area pieces, and also those uh, triangular signs, which did do carry on to other spear bikes today, and one of those engine pieces in brown, and on the back of which has that uh, backpack piece in gray acting as a carrier part of it. And also like the other versions is does have the like snowshoes but acting as landing gear and also a megaphone to the side as a blaster. And also gets a this little landing piece. Is also present of the other versions. And yeah. And so now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is which a pretty good set for 2002. Like this, the first time of getting the Ewoks in. But also a good range of something that we barely see much from sets is a few different builds together in a set. And also and although I do think the like glider wings can kind of work today in mocking standards or modern standards of mocking. But and of course a few the good thing that the Ewoks did kind of change over time and yeah. If you like, still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. Although this and the Ewok Village and uh, Battle of Endor sets could all work out together as a mix-up, or could all work out well together. And if you, and also this could work just about good in a uh, Endor mock, obviously. 
and those of you who missed out on it, well, good luck finding it like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.